Hey everybody, Motopoet59 here. This is our cat Gidget. She's a rescue cat. We got her when she was three days old. And my daughter Chrissy took care of her, bottle fed her, did all that. We didn't know if she was going to live or not. She was in really bad shape. But she pulled through. And now she is a demon cat. She's She's a cool cat. But, uh, the reason I wanted to bring Gidget into this, and she's not, we have two other cats, Trip and Lily. Trip's about eight years old. He's a big old fat cat. We just took him to the vet. He weighs almost 20 pounds. And uh, Lily, who's in between these two, you want down? All right. See you later. Don't start bugging me anymore. But anyway, California Governor Gavin Newsom just signed a bill about... <laughs> Come on, dummy. Newsom just signed a bill uh, about uh, animal rights and, you know, uh, mistreatment of animals. And everybody's praising him and saying what a great guy he is because of that. Uh, not everybody, the Democrats. I suppose all animal lovers are, and I think it's a good thing. My question, <laughs> my question is, where was all this adulation and where was all the reporters when uh, President Trump signed the bill that made cruelty to animals a federal offense? You can go to federal prison now for cruelty to animals. There were no headlines about that, at least not in the mainstream. And they never cover any good things that President Trump does because the mainstream media doesn't want anyone to think that President Trump does anything good. I'm sure that... Uh, they wish he hadn't signed that bill uh, because the Democrat agenda, the leftist agenda, doesn't care who gets hurt or what our animals or pets. They don't care if our pets die. They don't care about our pets. Don't listen to them. They don't care about them anymore. And they care about blacks, gays, uh, or anything else that the military, anything else that they say they care about. Uh, they don't care about our pets. They just want you to think President Trump doesn't care about them which he does. And he, like I said, he didn't write that bill. Uh, I didn't go into the, I didn't get, I just read the summary of the bill. I didn't get into the, all the text of it or see who wrote it or who uh, helped put it together. All I know is that President Trump signed it. And uh, that's a good thing. And uh, Gavin Newsom signed these bills. And that's a good thing. I still can't stand Newsom. I still hope he is recalled. I haven't gone to a store driven by, gone to or driven by a store in the last month or so that doesn't have a table out front with uh, petitions to recall Newsom, I hope he gets recalled. He probably won't. Uh, they tried this, uh, what, a year or so ago, and uh, thousands, tens of thousands of petitions were lost in the mail. And people wonder why President Trump is, is criticizing the United States Post Postal Service. Come on. These people are a joke. Uh, I use them, but if I want to be sure something's going to get somewhere, I use UPS or FedEx. I'll pay the extra money to make sure it gets there when it's supposed to get there. But anyway, that's beside the point. I just wanted to see if anybody has a rational answer as to where all the hoopla was when President Trump signed the Cruelty to Animals bill into law. Yeah. Why well, weren't they doing cartwheels and talking about his greatness like they're doing with Newsom right now? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motopoet59 at gmail.com. Um, like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. Be nice to your animals. Be nice to all animals. And we will see you all later.